Hey friends, welcome to another session of story time with me. I'm Miss Seema and you're watching Seema Story Time. Children, a lot of times we keep wondering and we keep wishing that we could be like someone, we can look like someone and we keep getting disappointed. I'm sure it's happened in all of our lives, right? So in today's story, which is I don't want to be small, the boy in this story is wishing the same. He doesn't want to be small. And he's trying all the things possible to look tall. But then suddenly one day something happens. Some strange thing happens. What is that? Do you want to know? Well, I want to know. So let's not let's get away and read the story. I don't want to be small. I Don't Want to Be Small by Laura Ellen Anderson No, it's not fair. I don't want to be small. I want to grow faster so that I can be tall. I'm always on tiptoes in crowds I can't see. And all of my friends are much taller than me. It appears I'm so small they forget that I'm there. And I can't even go on big rides at the fair. My brother is lucky for being so tall. He gives me his clothes when his friends, he finds them too small. But his clothes are too big. It's just so unfair. I'm so mad I throw Teddy up in the air. Oops, now he's stuck. Oh, what have I done? Being this small ruins all of my fun. I'm tr I try jumping to reach him. I stand on a box. I try stills and a long stick, a rope made of socks. Perhaps I eat all my greens really fast. I'll grow super quick and save Teddy at last. Burp. But no, I'm just full with strange sounds in my belly. I'm still the same height, but now so much more smelly. Maybe I'll grow if I'm more like a flower. So I sit in the sunshine and have the odd shower. But now I'm just wet and there's mud in my hair. I will never be tall. And I just want my bear. Nice bear, says a girl who's much taller than me. Would you like me to help get it down from that tree? The girl reaches up, but it's still far too high. Oh dear, what a pickle, I slump down and sigh. But just when I think that my bear stuck forever, I gasp and say, we could reach Teddy together. The next thing I know, I'm the tallest around. I've never been so far away from the ground. We laugh and we wobble and then one, two, three, together we finally set my bear free. Thank you, I say, and I hold out my bear. Here, this is Teddy. Perhaps we can share. So yes, I'm small, but now I don't mind. I have made a new friend and she is mightily kind. We play games and laugh for the rest of the day. I'm small and she's tall. And we are perfect that way. The End well, children, I'm sure you would have noticed that the boy in the book is not happy with being small or being short rather. And he wants to grow tall. He wants to be tall like others. And he tries everything possible to look taller. He eats various kinds of vegetables. He tries to do exercise, all those things. But it just doesn't happen. But then eventually he realizes that being tall or small or short doesn't matter at all. What matters is that you love others, you learn to love others. You make sure that people around you are loved and taken care of. And that's the most important thing, isn't it? 
great, lovely, very nice story. I'm sure we learned a lot out of it. And we will come back with more stories, children. Till then, from our story room, it's a bye-bye. See you soon.